Come on in here. Yeah. Come on. 7.40 p.m. Tank in the building. University of Arizona. 9.4 D.N. Paris, California. Where you at, huh? Hey, where you at, Tank? Hey, where you at, Tank? Let's go. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. I told y'all, baby. It's not our, this is not our music. This Drake, letting y'all know that from off the top. You hear what I from the Ike and Rome show. No line, no shine network. Every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time. I got to fix these things, man. Ain't no shine without the line. Where you at, Junior? Come on. Come on, Junior. Where you at, Wilson? Get him, Tank. Ah. He gonna be on here with us tonight, man. It's about the Wildcats. AZ, 9-4, Paris, California, Tank, Heem. What? Talk to him, big dog. He gonna be on us with us tonight. No line, no shine network. We gonna bring you them boys in the middle. The big ones. Let me tell you something about Tank, though. He got gear. He stay fitted. He smell good. He's a big boy. And he nice with it. Yup. Yup. <laughs> hey, we're going to have fun with this tonight, man. Real talk. Alexa, stop. Got to tell him to cut him off. What's going on, y'all, man? Again, this Ike from Ike and Rome show, man. We, go, we ain't going to do a lot of talking. We're going to bring him in right now. Yeah, right now. Dion. Where you at, Dion Wilson Jr., a.k.a. the Tank Star, 9-4, Paris, California, University of Arizona, Wildcat, holla at me, big dog. Yes, sir. He in here with us tonight. We go shine. We go throw some shine on. Watch that hat he got on. He going to tell, tell you how you feeling. Where my glasses at? What's up? <laughs> I told you. I told you he go he gonna tell you how you feeling. Man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Great to be here. What's up, nephew, man? Hey, hey, hey. We let's get that. Let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. It's NBA playoff time. It's p -p -p playoff time. The Lakers is out. Yeah. They out. Okay. You a Cali guy, right? Yeah. 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 You from? You represent the West. The Clippers are still in it, but. I see you rocking the Brooklyn Nets, man. I, I just I, I believe in them. Like they, that team got together, they didn't get together for no reason. They got one goal, and they all superstars in that team from the to the six man to the point guard to the backup. So <laughs> he said the six man point guard backup popcorn maker parking <laughs> lot attendants ushers. Brooklyn ain't playing, dog. <laughs> I, I, how, how they let them put that team? How they let them put that squad together, though? I don't okay. even. But it was just like they just got like these got lucky. Like okay, I, <laughs> I understand with Kyrie, KD, then they got James Harden, then they got Blake Griffin. Then it was just like wow, how you even get that team together? You know what? I you know it's it's, it's like a dream team. It's like a it's almost like the Olympic team, man. And, and, and Blake coming off the bench, dunking on people, and then just. I was surprised when he dunked on Giannis. I know. I was surprised too, man. I, you know what? Giannis had his hand full. I, I think he was thinking about something else. I don't know. Something's wrong with him. <laughs> Tank, what's going on, nephew? How much? How you loving Arizona, man? How you loving Tucson? Uh, I, I'm liking I'm liking it. You know, it's a simple town. You know, not too much to do. I, I love the people here. The people, um, they, they're really supportive. They support the school, mainly the football players and any type of sport. You know, even though it's not too much to do out here, but, you know, I came out here for one mission, you know, come here, play ball, do the best I can. And for surely a couple of years, you'll see me in the NFL. You, oh, yeah, we already know it. What now, out of all the schools that liked you, man, we, we checked you out in high school. You down in Paris, California, man. And uh, Do they call that the IE? Is that, is that still yeah, they, the IE? Yeah. Yeah, he rapping the IE to the fullest. 
What made you choose AZ? Like, in my, in my situation, it was like, I came on the scene late as as a D lineman because I didn't start playing football until I was in 11th grade. Mm -hmm. I started going to camp, start going crazy, basically showing out. And people were like, dang, who is this kid? And by the time, you know, my name was called, I had some offers. I was happy with them. I was happy I even got an offer. <laughs> I didn't really care about the stars or the offers. I was just happy I, I'm here. And out of all my choices, I chose AZ. AZ was like the birth of me. It wasn't too far from home. Yeah. Major. And I just liked the environment because the environment it reminded me of home almost, you know, kind of dry area. Yeah. It's hotter than home, but. Definitely. Uh, I love it here. I'm glad I made the decision to come here. Now, <clears throat> I, you know, we can we just call you Tank Man? I, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, hey, Queen. Queen uh, uh, Eliza, she said, feeling, feeling good, looking good. She said, you looking good. Yeah. Is that your fam, bam? Nah, that's, that's my girlfriend. Oh, hey, hey, okay, before we even move forward, he got a yaya, you know what I'm saying? So all y'all asking me questions, hit me on the DM, and they talking about what's up with Big Thickums. You know what I'm saying? They hit me up, Uncle okay, Ike. Ask Big Thickums. <laughs> Pretty, pretty smile. Ask pretty boy with the smile. Is he good? No. Nah. Y'all seen it? He got Queen Queen Elijah right there. He already taken. I'm sorry. How you doing, honey bun? Much love. This unk right here. <laughs> so the yayas, he's done. Sorry. Hey, anyway. <laughs> well, what made you choose? Because you're athletic, man. You very, you long, 6'4". Yeah. About two, what, what do you know? Are you about 275, 270? Uh, you know, I, uh, today I waited, I'm at 280. Oh, you didn't put on some more. Yeah, but uh, they had, uh, got me uh, uh, interior now. They got me a D-tackle. Look at you. Got your neck. You look, you can tell a big boy he got that neck. He got that football neck now. Queen, you see your boy? You see your boy with the, with the shoulders and the neck? <laughs> 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 what did they do, man? What, what are some of the things that you're doing? in the off season that, that'll prepare you for the upcoming season, man, in the pack? Man, right now, you know, uh, I'm I'm so blessed for this new co coaching staff because they out here getting this right. You know, they want every player to be the best uh, they can be. And, you know, I have a good relationship with the uh, head strength and conditioning coach, and he's really on me just, like, to make sure I fix anything and everything for me to be an athlete. He see me, I can do, do, do big things in the future. So what we're doing in the offseason, can't say too much we, how we working, but just know we working, and we coming for everybody. Ooh, y'all hear that? Y'all y'all hear that? Miss Erica, uh, MCM, she says she's a proud counselor. Bless you. Yeah. Simple face, baby. Okay, brother, let them know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, of course, uh, 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 Queen said, hey. <laughs> Hey, what he do, Queen? <laughs> man, y'all, y'all, y'all hear Tank? He say, man, he getting his mind right. What What are some of the things that, like, the mental aspect of the game that you go through every week for those younger guys that are listening uh, to the show? What are uh, the mental it, things that you got to go through? I would probably have to say, just keep your head on straight. Don't get too hard on yourself. That because you know, coming in with me in my freshman year, that first season, that first semester. Mm -hmm. So hard on myself, like I gotta play, I gotta start, I gotta start. It was really took a toll on my mind and yeah, what I had to do for school and stuff like that. I didn't do bad in school, but it was just like it's a mental, it's a lot of mental that if you don't, if you take care of your business right and properly, the days of having bad days are not gonna always be there. But mm. mainly, it is when you do have them bad days, keep pushing, don't worry about it too much. You mess up, you get yelled at, it's all right. You, the next day is coming, next day to show up and show out. Because it's, it's obviously there's nothing to do behind you. He wants your, he wants your spot. That's right. That's and right. That Trying to take somebody else's spot. So that's mainly my main goal. And just to tell people, just keep your head on straight and keep on working. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that just tuned in or that you'll be listening to later, uh, later on, yes, yes, indeed, we got Junior. We got Junior. We got Tank. Deion Wilson Jr., a.k.a. Tank, 
Paris. This this your baby, y'all. This our baby. Oh, he ain't a baby. Now look at that smile, man. You got a million dollar smile, big dog. All right, my big chocolate, this is a million dollar smile, man. I don't know, Queen. I don't know. <laughs> and and he said the Brooklyn, Brooklyn next go take it, man. Yeah. yeah. I think I think they looking good too. What's your favorite NFL team? Or do you have one? Oh yeah. Packers. Go pack go. Hey, what? that's my team. What made you, what make you like the Packers, man? Uh, I just started liking the Packers when uh, Aaron Rodgers start, first started playing. I was real young, but I remember him, uh, seeing him get in the game after Brett Favre got hurt. Mm -hmm. Dang, like, this boy good. This dude good. <laughs> he said this boy good. I started liking him. And, like, mainly I, I really gained, like, a much more, like, fan love, like, these past couple of years, especially when they D-line. Every time I started getting the football more in, like, in high school, I started to pay attention more. Like, yeah. they, I, like my favorite D-lineman on that team is Darius Smith. Okay, that, okay. Him and Kenny Clark. Okay. Him, right there, yeah. They, they got good feet, man, good hands, good feet, technique, and they're just athletes. they yeah, athletes. Yeah, they can go. Now, 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 saying you're an athlete, I know you played some other sports growing up. Oh, yeah, yeah. What made you choose football? Well, like, well – I always played basketball, so yeah. Uh, I was like hooping and stuff like that, but I always been a big man. You know, I'm looking like dudes my size, six five. They jump the ball like, like point guard. Hey, I got a shot, but I ain't too much. <laughs> so I kind of figured I was like, I mean, I was getting like low D one inches, D two inches. I was like, you know, this ain't gonna cut it. I wanna, I wanna actually go to college and enjoy it. There you go. I was like, you know, let's try football again. Because I had tried football my freshman year. I first, I didn't thought I, I think I was good. So I just had left the sport. But luckily, mm -hmm. my sisters came back and you know, went full throttle. And ever since then, I was just like, forget it. Like, we just going to take it to the best ability, back to the top. There you go. There you go. You, you mature, man. You got an old soul. Yeah. You know, I know they. Huh? My mom raised me right. Yeah, man. Moms, big shout out to moms. Salute to you. You got a wonderful young man here. He's doing great things. You got a lot of people looking up to you. Yeah. Just to let you, just to let you know that, man. So I'm already knowing. you got young people out here in Cali that you probably never would have thought, like, man, me? Like, Tank? Yeah, Tank, man. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing some things that guys would dream. They dream of every night, man, wishing, like, man, I wish I could get on that platform. What are some, what are some advice that you can give to – young ladies or young men with uh, ambition of doing something after high school, whether it's uh, college, military, or anything? Just don't look. Two things. Don't stop your motivation once you get out of high school. It's easy, okay. to, it's easy to sit there on the couch and not do nothing. You get out of high school, stay motivated. Mm. Two, don't, let your, don't never let go of your dreams. Never. Mm. I, I'm a product of it. Okay. I told myself when I was 10 years old, I'm going to make it to college. I don't know how. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to be up there. I, I, I made sure. I love that. I'm going to watch me on TV. Come on. So that was just one of the dreams. Like, I can't I hold on to it. My motivation is my family and the life that I want. Yeah. It's motivation and determination. If you ain't got that, you find something to get it. Don't give up. It's Ooh. easy. Say it again, man. Tell them don't give up. Say it again. And don't give up. It's easy. It's too easy to give up. I love it, man. Boy, you almost bought a tear to my mind, man. You got me crying on a Thursday night, Tank. <laughs> Come on. Don't do me like that, man. Man, it's, it's Look, real life. It's real life. You got to. What What do you think about, and I'm going to switch reels a little bit real quick. Um, they said big bro preaching. Yes, sir. Damo say good love, Erica. Erica MCM say we're proud of you. Proud of you, Dion. Yeah. Dimp Dimple face baby say uh, that man did. <laughs> Too big dude. Okay, all right, all right. Everybody out here, man, they loving you, man. But yeah. like I said, I want I want to switch it up real quick, D Tank. Yeah. Could you speak on um, some of like the social injustice that a young man like you? 
or younger have to go through? And what are some of the things that we can do to help change these different laws in our society that we're living in now? It's really it's just like what I learned is in like throughout high school and just like in personal experiences, it's just like it's all about the people. The people, we need to make a change. You know, well, like this past election, we were so worried about president, president, president. What I learned, like we need to pass certain bills and certain things, raise, trying to raise funding and mm -hmm. trying to it's all about reinvesting inside the community. So, like, if I get a get platform where I'm able to reinvest inside my community, that's the, one, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Like, mm. I was like, with it because, like, a lot, where we fall short at is, is so many good athletes. I know you've probably seen it. So many good athletes that fall to the wayside. Yeah. They end up falling into being a product of their environment. Right. And they didn't have the, the certain guidance and people to talk to them. And I, I was lucky enough to have the certain people around me that actually cared about me. And sometimes mm -hmm. I'll stay and just me, me, me. Right. Sometimes, somebody, sometimes people need help and just they don't want to ask for it, but just give them the help without the yeah. me. And like social injustice wise, it was like, we need to continue what we're still doing and still mm -hmm. making a stand, keep on telling the truth. Right. The regardless, no matter how much you want to cover it, how much you want to just push it to the side, truth is going to shine through everything. Come on. Come on. It, it's it's going to be there. And going through social injustice, like, I was just home, back home, back in May. They went through something with the cops. They had the wrong, it was me and my four friends. They had the wrong people. But that was my first time dealing with the cops, and I was scared, and I just feel like it's unfair that I, I shouldn't feel like that. And I Black boys of my skin color, even with brown people, my my, my Latino people, mm -hmm. and it's it's unfair that each time we get pulled over or we speak to a cop, we're timid, head down, like like we're scared. Yeah, some of us are not scared, but some of, most of us are. Mm -hmm. and, and what we see on on social media and on TV on the news, right? We we most of us are scared, and I just want to. I hope the world gets to a certain point where. We don't have to be scared anymore. We can actually look to a cop and actually talk to a cop. Right. This is going on. I feel like we should try to do something. I feel like the relationship between the police and the people need need to be better. Yes, sir. Definitely. Oh man, you said a lot, man. You you. We got a lot to chew on. Y'all heard it, Junior, D Wilson, Ju Dion Wilson Junior, A.K.A. Tank Man. Yeah. Giving us giving us love, man. Yeah. Y'all throw the hearts up, man. Keep pushing the hearts <laughs> up, man. Oh, man. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Huh? <laughs> Talk to me, Tank. Man. He, hey, hey, yes, white. Dimple facts. It's more than just football, more than just in the trenches, you know, down there hitting with the pass, man. This boy got a good brain on him. Yeah. And the boy got gear. Oh, <laughs> Hey, I, man, you talking about clean? This boy fitted all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Every yeah. Every time I see him, man, he, he matching. This, see, this is the misconception about linemen. They big, fat, greasy, stanky. Man, it's like they, they, the, the image is all wrong. Hey, you, hey, you, helping, you helping changing that. Yeah, we're going to change that. <laughs> change that. Tech said we're going to change that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. D D always stay fresh. Always got to. Man, I looked at you one time. I thought you was a mannequin. Like you was, <laughs> you was, you was suited from the head to toe. Everything matching. I said, man, he take that. Either he a mannequin or he took that right off that mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my mom had a dress. She was my, trying to house looking crazy. She ain't playing, Doc. Hey. Play no games. Man, I, if I show up to Paris, man, if I shoot through in Paris, Doc, I shoot through, I pull up. Me and Damo from No Line, No Shine Network, and my boy Wrong from Like a Wrong Show, we pull up. Give me two spots. Two spots in Paris where we pulling up to eat at. Oh, that's easy. Well, Paris, you know, there's a lot of Latinos in the area, so we got a lot of good Mexican food. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, immediately we go into Mexicanos from the corner side of 
to the burritos off the chain. Like that? Like that. Then if you want some beef, there's another place. And they got media tacos with the extra cheese. Okay. It's called like Exilos. That place is bomb. Man, them two places right there. Uh, that's my go-to. Each time I go back home, I'm going. I'm going there often, hands down. Ladies and gentlemen, are we heading up. Hey, y'all ever in town? Y'all ever in Paris, California? Yes, sir. Tell them. OBJ Club said we got to go to Mexicano, Mex Mexicana, the Mexicanos, Mexicanos. Get you a quesadilla or a burrito. Fire. Yeah. Dimple fire. said fire. Or we going to ex. Xylos? Yeah. Exilos. Either one. Matter of fact, I come up, if I pull up, we going to both. I think I'm just going to hang out. Man, man, you come down there, we going to eat good. <laughs> <laughs> Much love, man. What you listening to, man, before the game, like to get your mind right, Tank? Well, this this may be sound weird to people, but I, I actually listen to uh to uh Otis. Yeah. I can see, man. You, I told you, old oh, soul. Because, like, you know, a football player, like, what I learned through high school is, like, I be so, like, turned up and amped by talking on the field. I'm like, you tired? I'd be like, what was I doing in the locker room? But, <laughs> but, like, during my senior year, I was like, listen, oh, I need to come out, calm, composure, I'm focused, I'm tuned in. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm focused. I'm going, listening to music, going over my place, just think, getting my mental right. So, Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, I'm, when you say – so when you say Odie's, man, because, you know, oh, I yeah. got this gray right here. Your aunt ain't got this. I'm talking about 80 – I don't talk about 90s, none of that. I'm talking about Marvin Gaye, the Bloodstone. Okay. I can Tina. I'm talking about Tina Marie. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm with it all. Look at you. All right. Old school. Okay. Now, now what's your favorite kicks? Top of the line, which one did your, your dopest did your, what's your go tos and then what what do you think you rock man during the week? What's your go to? Actually my closet right here, so I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Uh oh, you. oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he ain't gonna do it. Tank ain't gonna do it to us. Deion Wilson Jr., University of Arizona defense alignment. Mr. Everything. Nine four. They call him Tank. And don't get mad because he's a pretty boy. He'll still put hands on you. Paris, California finest. Yes, indeed. Mama, you did an excellent job. Uh, you can't say tank without the boom. No, sir. He going to get the kicks right now. I told y'all, man, this boy got so much shoe game, man. He got so much charisma on his feet. I ain't never seen nobody with, with, with charisma on their feet. All right, I'm back, y'all. Here, here, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. These are my go-tos right here. These Ooh. Things. What what's them? What what do they call those? That's not the... uh, these are uh, alternate great fives. The, these 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 right here, they so comfortable and like these are my go tos. I, I really like purple. I like purple, green, orange. So they're my go tos. Them buggers is funky. And I had just got these. These these my favorite. I got these for my birthday. The Legend Blue Elevens, the Lows. With yeah. the North Car the the North Carolina color on them. Uh huh. With the little bottom, yeah. Like them, icy, icy white. Yeah. So you rock those during the week, or is that, is that like when you like, especially when you go out somewhere? Usually during the week, you know, I probably just wear some uh, like some low profile shoes. It's not nothing too crazy, or some slides. But me on the weekend, I be at practice so much, and it's like I have to get dressed, even if I'm going to to a taco spot or something. Yeah. I, got, I just I just don't feel right. So. <laughs> I probably go to my uh, my purples, or uh, I just want to wear my 11s because you know they they so clean. I just want to wear them all the time, but I know I can't, so I'll be trying to wear those as much as I can. That's funny, man. Hey, Tank, Tank gonna keep it right and tight. Of course. Y'all, well, growing up, Tank, what was your favorite cartoon? Ooh, that, this this gonna sound crazy, y'all. But me and all, all my family know, I was watching Power Rangers. <laughs> I I the old not the old not the new ones yeah like yeah the older ones like power dinosaur Z O yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, I can still throw a power engine I just sit there and watch them all day uh man like that's one thing as a kid I, I was just so the reason I was so liked them so much it was like 
man, they do a karate and they make it look fun. Right, 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 right. So hot. Dominique said everybody watch. Everybody like Power Rangers. That's real talk. We all we all still like Power Rangers. What's your favorite? Uh, let me see. Favorite movie. Favorite movie. Ooh we. I'm trying to think. Okay, okay. Immediately, like just like of all time or just recently. All time. Oh Lord. <laughs> he said, "Oh Lord." I got a couple actually. Give me two then. Give me your top. That'll work. Top two. All right. First one, the last action hero. Was okay. Arnold. Yeah. Okay. I, I could watch that all day. Right, right. One time I was like, yeah, this is it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, the um Pacific Rim. Okay. Okay. Pacific Rim. Yeah, I could, I could watch them immediately. So, so you know all the lines and everything. Oh yeah, well, last action here. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I be I be knowing the scene. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I just too. I'm like, bro. I want. I can watch this all day, man. Who's your favorite comedian? Ooh. See, everybody gonna say Kevin Hart. I like Kevin Hart. I like Bernie Mac though. Ah, Bernie, Bernie Black. Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac is a fool. <laughs> oh, he's got you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Mac be having me dying. Yeah, Bernie was a legend. Definitely a legend. Yeah. That's funny, man. Yeah, you're an old soul. Yeah. I thought you was gonna I, say I grew up with a lot of uh a lot of older people, I had like a lot of older cousins, you know. I was always one of the kids that always wanted to hang out with, with the grown people. And I always got pushed aside. So I was always to the side just watching and just just taking in each time a grown up person talking to me, I actually took it. Took it in. You know how some kids are talking to somebody older, like, yeah, yeah, all right, come on, let's go. I yeah. just listen, just like take it in, I'm like, yeah, like, and respond. What was your favorite subject growing up in school? Favorite subject? Math. It, it was just easy. Recently, not no more because it, college math is just. It's a little different now. Very, very different. <laughs> right. <laughs> very different. All right, man. And, um, if you had your dream play, Tank, your dream play, you know, most of the time, well, you guys out there, athletes at nighttime, athletes, they dream about making big plays before the game. They okay. visualize it. Give me your dream play and what transpires. All right. I was just, I was dreaming this last night. Yes, but, sir. Hey, so it's a minute o'clock. It's, it's the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's it's twenty it's twenty one to twenty four. Okay. They put me in the game because the starting dude got hurt. Damn. We run it. We run the twist game. Get around him, but it's a screen. Oh. Uh, running back rollout, and I I'm I'm slowing down because I'm recognizing it. The quarterback don't see me in this vision. Mm hmm. Jump, catch the ball, run all the way to the touchdown. All <laughs> And somebody trying to drag right behind the legs, get up, drag him to the end zone. <laughs> and Pick I, six. I, I dream of that all the time, just catching this, catching the screen. I almost caught one at practice the other day. I was just like, yes. Hey, when, hey, Tank, look. When we see you do that booger, we going to rewind this tape. Yeah. And play it back and let you know. And matter of fact, the pick six, we going to rewind it and play it to you every week. Man. We're going to speak that book into existence, man, until you do it. Got to. I, I see you doing it, man. What you got plans for this year, man? What's the upcoming plans individually? Individually? Uh, well, for me, like, I had to uh, start off just with the spring. Beginning of the year. Let's start off in the general year. <laughs> you know, we got a new coaching staff. Uh, yeah. I was making it to 80. I was 295. So, I had to really just focus on myself and just really just, like, had to lose a lot of weight and mm -hmm. had to muscle back, how I dropped down to 270, then I had to gain some more muscle, and now I'm at 280. Okay. Um, right now, I'm just fo focusing on getting uh, more flexible, more faster. That's one thing that I'm really focusing on. Mm -hmm. Then it was me. I just, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be a lab rat, just, like, know the, know the plays inside and out. Somebody asked me, what's the play? I can just immediately say it. Then also knowing the other positions that 
and that like tackle nose anchor in just like, I just want to know everything just like from left to right just like, everything then you know and one of the, the D quarter uh coach Brown he told me just be patient you know he he see I, I'm an eager guy I, I yeah. want to. I, I want to learn. I want to do certain things that's going to get me to the top. He would just like, be patient. That's the biggest thing I he said I needed to do. He said, I'm going to grow regardless, just by my work ethic. He sure. was like, you just need to be patient. Don't don't jump the gun. You need to be patient. You're going to have your time. You're just a freshman. You got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. So that's one thing I, I'm really focusing on. No, I, I'm, a, uh, I'm second string right now, but anytime I get an opportunity, go first. Oh, man, it's, it's that close, brother. Nephew, look, let me tell you something. Somebody go down, you you just got to be prepared. They going to need you. And I can't wait to see you on the field, man. Everybody out there, hey, if y'all can't wait to see Tank on the field this year, this year, give him some hearts. Throw him some hearts. Let him know, man. Give him some hearts, man. Yeah, yeah. throw the hearts up, man. Let him know you're proud of him. Let him know we, you want to see them shine. You want to see him shining on the Pac-12 network. What a hearts at, y'all. There they go. There they go. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh huh. Deion Wilson Jr. Tank in the building. Before we get out of here, man, we want to know. We want to ask you a question, like we ask every week, all the top-notch players. Um, Tank, what does no line, no shine mean to you? Oh, one thing simple. You can't have a team if you ain't got the line. That's right. Offense and defense. That that that's just off off rip. We they, we don't get as much shine as we need to, but just know the, the game wouldn't work without us. We do all the dirty work. We ain't trying to look pretty all the time. All the time we look pretty when we hand the quarterback. <laughs> right. Um, right. We looking pretty. But other than that, we get dirty, we get nasty. We make sure all the hard stuff is getting done. So that's basically what it is to me. It's about being a man. If you if you ain't no man, man, don't be in them trenches. Ooh, ugly in there. Stay out of there. It's nasty. You got you got to have a certain character to it. You can't be soft. You gotta be bold. You gotta speak up. Yeah. You got no character to you. You ain't gonna last long. That boy. That boy. Some vicious. Pretty Ricky, what they call him? <laughs> Dimple said, "Yes, sir." And hey, we about to get out of here, man. You gave us your time. Hey, time is money, man. We appreciate you for the platform, the opportunity. No line, no shine network with Mr. CEO Dominique Thompson. I'm Uncle Ike from the Ike and Rome show. Man, don't make this our last time, man. We'll chop it up. Uh, of course, of course. You want to give a shout out to anybody before we let you go? Uh, first off, shout out to all my fans. You know, I'm I'm really supportive of you guys immediately. Uh, to all my teammates that came inside the live, you supported me. Thank y'all. And thank God immediately. I thank my sister, my mom, and girlfriend from head to top, my auntie, my grandma. I'm really supportive. They they my rock. They they will keep me solid, keep my head straight. I'm really supportive. And I just want to thank all my coaches in my life that helped me get to this point. And shout out to the Wildcats, University of Arizona. We we got it's personal. Ooh. I, I believe with Coach Fish and I believe in the program. We we're gonna get right this year. There's gonna be a whole different team you're gonna see. Hey Z back. Yeah, we back we back. Action. Dion Wilson Jr., a.k.a. Tank, with us, ladies and gentlemen. We about to get out of here, man. We appreciate you. Love you, nephew. Keep doing what you're doing. God yes, bless you. Much love, much love. You and too. we'll check you out later on, man. All the family, man, to your moms, auntie, sis, queen, much love. Salute to you guys. Wonderful young man, man. We're going to get out of here next week. We're going to do it again. No line, no shine network. Damo, I love you, man. Appreciate you. 7 p.m. Pacific time every week. No line, no shine. We out. Yeah.